Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah. Today we're going to discuss the finite potential well, building on our development and our understanding of the uh, infinite potential well that we did last week. Okay, so here's the geometry of the situation. It's very similar to the f infinite potential well. We have uh, a one-dimensional, uh, we're again considering the one-dimensional case uh, we have a uh, the well's width is uh, spatial width is L and we've arranged it again so that one side of the well is at X equals 0 and the other side is at X equals L okay and um, and inside the well the potential is equal to 0 okay potential under is equal to 0 and now the difference is that we have a finite height uh, finite potential height uh, so at, at for x is less than zero and x is greater than l, we have that the potential energy is now equal to finite value u sub, which we're going to call u sub zero or u naught. Okay. Um, I've drawn a dotted line here, which indicates the energy in a um, very generic way of a particle which we put into this finite well. Uh, the energy in this case because the kinetic uh, because the potential energy is zero inside the well the, the energy inside the well is just equal to the kinetic energy okay and um, and so the particle is moving back and forth with this uh, in the well with this with this uh, amount of energy and so again here I've, I've, I've basically listed the the form of the potential the uh, position dependent de de uh, potential uh, over here as I've um, indicated schematically over here. So again, between uh, 0 and L, it's equal to 0. But uh, when it's less than 0 or greater than L, it's equal to U0. And I've divided these, these um, I've basically designated these three regions as region 1, 2, 3. OK, so that's the, um, that's the sort of generic setup. And um, I, I should mention though that sometimes it, you'll find in many places other textbooks and on the web uh, when you look at solutions you'll find um, uh, this potential written in slightly different ways. Uh, often it's written symmetrically about x equals zero so x equals zero would correspond to the middle. Uh, uh, often you'll find that x equals zero corresponds to the middle of the well. Okay, and um, And so then it would go, the well would go from minus L over 2 to plus L over 2. Okay, sometimes we call it minus A to plus A, whatever. Um, and uh, and also sometimes they, they basically call the potential energy at the top of the well equal to zero and therefore the potential energy down here is equal to minus U naught. So sometimes you'll find the uh, this, uh, the geometry of this well described like this. Again, when X is equal between minus L over 2 to positive L over 2, you have a potential energy of minus U0. Um, and outside the walls, you find um, potential energy equal to 0. Okay. Now, the, this you, you should convince yourself that this doesn't change any of the physics, because it just changes our reference point for potential energy, which we know is we have, uh, we have complete freedom to do that. It, what, what we care about is changes potential energy. So it's equivalent to basically shifting this um, shifting this potential energy uh, diagram here, or this uh, yeah this potential energy diagram uh, up uh, or down I guess and um, and to the left a little bit, but it doesn't change the physics. And since it doesn't change the physics, that we know that uh, any solutions to what we're going to do today are mathematically equivalent to. Um, to what you would get if you basically used this other uh, form of the potential. And since the book that we're using, that is um, Harris's uh, book on modern physics, uh, basically formulates the potential in this way, this is what we're going to use uh, for the rest of today's lecture. <clears throat>